Okay, welcome to week two of the FE Hit. That's the Further Education High Impact Talk. So each episode, there will be a little bit of information followed by a chat with the guest who has a connection with Further Education. Uh, this is all supported by Access UCC's FE Transitions Programme, Access Plus. Coming up shortly, I'm delighted to welcome the principal of the Court College of Commerce, Helen Ryan. Uh, just briefly, a couple of announcements. Um, it's probably 12 months away nearly from now, but if you are interested in progressing on to university after you've done your QQI studies, there's a one hour talk this Wednesday, 13th of October from 3 to 4 p.m. It's looking at applications, requirements, finances and the personal considerations you have around starting a degree. There's a link in the email and you can see UCC Community Week online. Now, Access Plus provides support for students as they transition into further ed and the largest FE college in Ireland is the College of Commerce. And I'm delighted to welcome the principal, Helen Ryan, to the FE HIT. Welcome, Helen. Glad to be here. Um, as I said, it's College of Commerce, the largest college in Ireland. What is it about further education and learning environment in the college that brings students in such numbers? I think it's because further education has something for everybody. So we do everything across the further education sector from early years to business, to security, to marketing, to cookery, whatever your interest is, I think we have something for you. And I suppose it's a great mix of training and education so that you develop skills as well as knowledge. Um, and even though we're big, we're quite small from the point of view of we, we have classes, we don't have lectures, we have teachers, we don't have lecturers. Um, a lot of our classes are quite small. So there's that kind of halfway feel between leaving school before you face maybe, you know, a higher education environment where you might be in a lecture with 400 other people. You're going to be in a lecture maybe with 15 others in our classes. Your teachers will know your name. They'll know whether you're attending or not, which is good and a bad thing. Um, and they care about you. And the college is kind of manageable from the point of view of finding your way around. Um, but essentially the courses, because we're constantly modifying them so that we meet what is needed out in industry or in higher education, we're always moving along and changing things. So we always have courses that will qualify you for work or progression, whichever you need. Uh, you mentioned progression there. So how important is it for the students to know about those links to careers, to apprenticeships, to third level education? Oh, you know what? It is so important because so many students who come to us don't actually at the start know that they want to go to university because maybe they haven't had a good experience in school or maybe they haven't been the best at Irish or maths or something. So maybe they consider themselves as kind of average um, and they don't see college as something that they could do. But actually, once you get into a course that you have an aptitude for, so once you get into something that you're interested in, you start discovering that you get distinctions when other people in the class only get merits. And you discover that actually you're way cleverer than you thought you were and that you have you develop much more confidence in your ability to take part in something in higher education. So it's really important that we develop all of our links and that people like you um, and our progressions officer and everybody else are feeding into the students all the time. So when they eventually get the confidence and they get it, how clever they are, that they now know the links that they can go forward with. So we have the progressions database on our website and then assisted by people like you in the college and our guidance counselors, et cetera, we can point everybody in the right direction to go onwards and upwards all the way to PhD level if they want. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Thanks very much, Helen. So um, we spent so much time apart that the final segment of the show, we always reflect the need for us to be a bit more connected and to get to know people a little bit more. So to find out a little bit about you, Helen Ryan, uh, three quick questions. Number one, what's your favourite TV show? You know what? I'm not into heavy, serious stuff because I think there's enough of that at work. So I'm a real sucker for the like the one hour things like NCIS and CSI and, uh, you know, Casualty and New Amsterdam and all that kind of stuff, because I just find it light entertainment and so far away from normal life that I like anything like that that passes away an hour and gets me into some other world. Great. Talking of other worlds, question number two, what's your favourite place on earth? You know what, I was thinking about that and I don't think I have one. I think anywhere I'm with my dogs or anywhere I'm sitting on my kayak, I can count as the best places in the world. It doesn't have to be a location. I think it's kind of like a state of mind. Mm -hmm. Oh, I understand that. That's great. And the last question, um, the best bit of advice that you were given? Yeah, I guess it is to never give up. Um, you know, because we're always faced with challenges and 
sometimes you're going from A to B and somebody puts a big obstacle in the way. And, you know, as you get old, like me, um, you figure out that there's a way around every obstacle and there's a way around everything. And all you have to do is reach out and look for some help, but never give up, look for help. And there won't be too many challenges in life you can't overcome. I've lived with it and it's stood to me. Yeah, that's wise, wise words indeed. So thanks, Helen. That brings us to an end to the second episode of the FE Hit. Thank you for listening. Uh, thanks very much to my guest, Helen Ryan. Uh, if you want to stay in touch with us on the Access FB Transition News, just register with Access Plus. You can follow this podcast on YouTube or you can listen uh, to the audio on Podbean. Feel free to send me suggestions for guests or if you want to be a guest yourself, just get in touch. We'll hear from you. Uh, that's all for now. Stay safe. Remember to check your emails and I'll see you next time. Thanks.